What's up, Jared? Hey, happy to be here. Thanks for having me today. Awesome, no problem. So this hour, we've got a few things to talk about for the youth of Camp Humphreys. It's going to be coming up when? Yeah, we're going to talk about the activities coming up in the month of November um, for youth center age youth um, in grades 6 through 12 at Camp Humphreys. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so a lot of cool stuff that's going to go on in November. So if you got some youth out there at Camp Humphreys and you're looking for something for them to do, make sure you stay tuned. We have that coming up after this. We're in the studio with CYSS Jared Barrick. Jared, I heard there's some interesting things going on with your program and a lot to do for these kids. What is this cool weekend coming up that you have for them? Oh, yeah. One of the first things we have coming up in November is something we're calling Girls Night In and Boys Night In. So it's mm. two separate activities, um, both going to take place on the same day, Saturday, November 8th, and it's for youth in 6th through 12th grade. Um, and what it is is we kind of we divide them up obviously by gender, mm -hmm. and we got a special event coming up for that even from 7 p.m. until 10 p.m. Um, the girls are planning on something called Glamour Shot Evening. Ooh. Now, I'm not all familiar with Glamour Shot, so I had my female staff give me some notes. <laughs> and, uh, I'm sure it'll be glamorous. It sounds pretty glamorous. Uh, they, they're going to, again, working with our female staff and each other, they're going to do each other's hair, and nails, and makeup, so do a little makeover oh. type thing. Um, and then nice. we have, a, in conjunction, we actually have a photography club that goes on at the youth center, one of our staff members and teens run it, so they're going to be able to take glamour Photos. shots, with head oh shots, I guess, for the, for the young ladies. <laughs> So it's going to be a fun night for them on Saturday, November 8th. So um, and it gives them an opportunity to um, have fun in a relaxed environment and be able to talk to our staff members and to each other also about some things that, you know, maybe they're having some issues in school or, or things that females are facing that they can't talk about in front of the guys. Yeah. And it gives them uh, a night each week or each month to, to come together and talk about that kind of stuff and, and have some fun while they're doing it. Some girl time. Absolutely. <laughs> and for the boys, what do you got going on for yeah, them? Yeah, just in contrast, we've done the girls' night in the past. Last month was actually the first one they did it, so now the boys want something for them. Ah! So we're going to kick it off for them in <laughs> November. Um, and our first one will be November 8th. It's on the same day at a separate uh, building. It's going to be in our teen cyber lounge, which is right across the street oh. from our youth center, building 570. And that's from 7 to 10 p.m. And we got lined up with them some... Um, video game tournaments we have the brand new xbox ones the playstation 4s Ooh. we got all the brand new video games so we got a madden 15 tournament lined up for them we got brand new fifa 15 some soccer they're um, probably gonna be knocking that. down them doors absolutely we hope so <laughs> and then uh, right next door we have a uh, gym that's available to them as well so so we'll take a break it away from the video games play some games we play some basketball and things in the gym awesome. and again give the guys an opportunity to have some fun um go away from the girls and hang out with our male staff and, and again discuss any kind of issues or you know help them out with things that they may need some advice on yeah it's nice it's you know female bonding male bonding and it's given them that time you know just to have fun and have that support system because i know here in korea it's probably a little bit tough at times because you know you're away from the states and you're in a different area so i think that's a really great thing coming up after this break we'll have weather but also a few more activities going on you guys have right in oh the yeah we month. don't stop we got tons of activities to always stop. always what's up we're hot shell ray And you're watching YCTV. Perfect. There we go. That, that easy. Nailed it. <laughs> and that's a wrap. I've got Jared here in the studio with me from Camp Humphrey CYSS. We're talking to you guys about some awesome things going on for the youth of Camp Humphreys. We talked about the weekend of November 8th with the girls' night and the boys' night. Girls will join the glamour shots. Boys have video games and sports to do. And we have another event coming up in November for them. What, do we, what else do you have for them? Well, yeah, once a month we try to do a, a big trip, a field trip, if you may, uh, where we take the youth uh, off post, put them on a bus, usually head out to the Seoul area. And on Saturday, November 15th, we'll be taking a trip to Latte, Latte World, Ooh. Uh, which is an indoor and outdoor amusement park. So there's lots of roller coasters and rides, and there's arcade games and carnival games and things like that. Uh, so we're going to take them out there on Saturday, November 15th. 
And in order to register, um, they need to fill out a permission slip um, mm-hmm. with us at Building 427 at the Youth Center. And it's a $15 registration fee, which includes their price of admission, includes their transportation. Um, they will just need to bring their own Korean wand to purchase their lunch and any souvenirs or anything that they may want to purchase. Ooh, that's a steal. We took a little shop trip um, to Latte. Is that how you say it? Latte World? Latte yes. World? I'm not sure I say it wrong every time, but it was a blast. And the kids are going to get to do that for 15 bucks, right? $15. That covers $15. everything for them. Except for their lunch. And then uh, you said, where do they have to sign up for it again? Um, we have permission slips at Building 427, which is the Youth Center. Okay. Um, but they need to be registered with CYS to take part of any of our programs at the Camp Humphreys Youth Center. And in order to do that, they can make a phone call to 753 753- 3413. That's our parent central office and it's located at building 1127. Okay. And that's a free registration. Everything okay. that we do here at the Youth Center besides our once a month field trips are generally free of charge. So like the girls night and the boys night we already spoke of is free. All they have to do is be registered. Yep. So I encourage everybody to get in contact with parent central at mm-hmm. building 1127. Phone number 753-3413. If they're at Camp Humphreys in grades 6 through 12, then they're eligible to take part in youth center activities. They just need to fill out the free registration, get me my necessary emergency contacts, um, information like that to make sure the kids are safe. Um, and they're open and, and ready to take part in everything that the youth center has to offer. All the awesome things they had to offer. Man, it makes me wish I was back in you know, high school or middle school or something. Getting to go to Lotte World for $15, girls' night with the glamour shots. I mean, gosh, these kids are super lucky. And we have a little bit more to talk to them about coming up after this. I'm Senior Airman Emma Duff. We're closing out the hour with a CYSS Jared talking about all these awesome weekends and activities for the kids at Camp Humphreys. We have one more event to talk about. What, what do you have for us? Well, it's a couple events, but it's over the Thanksgiving weekend. Um, we know we're closed on the actual holiday Thursday for Thanksgiving, but we're going to be right back open Friday and Saturday with a couple of trips for the youth uh, to get them out and about um, and enjoy the long weekend on Friday, November 28th. Um, we'll be taking a trip out to uh, downtown Pyeongtaek outside of AK Plaza mm-hmm. and doing a little, uh, we we'll call it Shop Till You Drop Day. So kind of coincide with uh, Black Friday back, back in the States. Going to give the teens the opportunity to go and do, get some shopping done. Maybe they want to do some Christmas shopping, buy some clothes for themselves, whatever they want to do. Um, we'll be chaperoning them out there um, to do some shopping, go grab some dinner. Um, depending on what the movie schedule looks like, we usually don't know that till about a week out. Maybe if it's rated properly, we'll be able to go catch a movie. Um, but we'll spend the whole afternoon downtown Friday, November 28th. So if you're interested in doing that, we'll meet at the Youth Center, building 427 at 2 p.m. Um, again, this is a free trip, but you will need to bring your own Korean wand for dinner and any shopping that you want to do. Yep. And you also need to fill out a permission slip at building 427 because we do need parent signatures to take the youth off post. Yep. Awesome. So you've got November 8th weekend for the boys and girls night separate. Girls are doing the glamour shots. Boys have those video games and sports to do, which is a free evening from 7 to 10, November 8th, for them to hang out, you know, get some girl time, boy time hanging out and getting that camaraderie going and then on November 20... November 15th, 15th. we'll be taking that Latte World trip. The Latte World um, trip. And that's the $15 registration fee mm-hmm. and there is a deadline to get registered and that's Wednesday November 12th so we can make sure we have enough spaces on the bus. Right. Um, so registration is open now if you're interested but you do need to register before November 12th or until spaces are filled up. Awesome. And then ending it with that November 28th shopping trip. I bet that's going to be a good time. It usually is. The, the young people love to go down there. There's a lot to do. We always seem to have a different experience each time we go. Awesome. Great stuff. Great stuff. So all you Camp Humphreys folks out there listening, make sure you're getting your youth involved in all these fantastic programs they have offered for you. Thank you so much for coming in, Jared. We really appreciate you bringing all these items to the table to let everybody know what great things you guys are doing. Well, I appreciate you having me and giving me the opportunity to uh, let everybody know what we have going on. No problem.